My creative process is also curvy. <laughs> I enjoy the, the messiness of it. I enjoy nothing more than a tabula rosa, right? You know, you take something that requires you to start with nothing but ideas and to leverage data, to leverage other people via focus groups or just personal conversations. You know, identifying what is the creative approach to that. What is your desired result? You know, you take all of those things along with a lot of research, that's when things get messy because it looks like you're piling on a lot. And that's also what I've realized it, that what happens at that point is when most people become fearful. People get really excited in the ideation phase and then they freeze afterwards because the idea of getting it done takes a lot of work. And that messy space is my comfort zone. I have indeed worked on quite a few um, franchises, concept development initiatives, and things of the like. And if for me, it just comes natural. You know, now we call it branded content. Then we called it 50 million other things. Um, I think it comes in handy because when you're looking for the perfect trifecta, which is taking a product that connects with consumers and when necessary also connects with advertisers, that's the holy grail. Um, it took me some time to realize what strategy was. You know, what exactly is it? It's this big word that lots of people use that often gets lost, right? But when you boil strategy down, it's a plan. It's often strategic and that it needs to connect to business objectives, but it also has to be creative. You can't have one without the other. And I thrive with both.